Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be walking you guys through a couple of the ways that I have learned to read the Bible over the years and how I study it and take notes on it and how I do different devotions and stuff like that. So obviously I'm not here to say that the way you're reading the Bible is wrong or that you have to read it this certain way but I've just gotten requests to do more videos like this about my faith and so I figured I would start with something kind of simple that just involves how to study the Bible. Also, I quickly wanted to mention that everything in this video is going to be linked down below because I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different books and notebooks and journals and stuff like that. So if you're interested in anything that I'm talking about, check the description box because it'll all be linked down there. So I have this huge stack of books and notebooks over here that I'm going to be referencing throughout this video. Um, and the one on top is my actual Bible. And so if you're curious, this is the NIV version of the Bible. I really like it. I've used this for years now. So just if you're curious about what kind of Bible I have, this is what it is. But also, if you've never studied the Bible before, you don't really know where to start or how to do it, anything like that, um, first step would be to obviously purchase a Bible, but you don't even have to purchase them because with the amazingness of the internet nowadays, you can access all of it online. So that's really awesome. There are like different apps where you can read the Bible. So you just want to get your hands on some form of the Bible. But something else that I would recommend is this little devotional guide right here called How to Study the Bible. And I'm going to be showing y'all a couple of other things from this really awesome company called The Daily Grace Company. And I posted a picture of some of their stuff on Instagram the other day. It's really cute, all of it, but even better than that, it all is amazing. So this lady, Kristen, she makes some amazing devotionals, and um, then she also has other products like notebooks and pens and stuff like that. So I'm going to be referencing them a lot throughout this video. This video isn't sponsored, but they did send me some of this stuff, and I've really been loving it, so I wanted to share it with you guys because it's something, like all these products are things that I've wanted for so long and never been able to find anywhere, and it turns out that she made them already. So if you've never studied the Bible before and don't know where to start, I would recommend checking out her little book called How to Study the Bible. And basically she just goes through the different steps. She says, this is what I do. This She explains her story. Um, she talks about where to start, how you know which kind of book you're going to want to read, um, how long you should read, all that kind of stuff. And she just kind of outlines it in a very simple ways. Also, if you've never studied the Bible before, I think you could find this really helpful. So I just wanted to touch on that first, but I also have a, another list of different things that I have just gotten in the habit of doing over the past couple years. So I don't do the same sort of routine every single day. I wish I could say that, yeah, every day I wake up and I read my Bible this many pages and then I take this many notes in my journal on it and then I pray for this long about it. But I'm not a perfect human being and I do not do that. I'm just not like that. So I have a couple different methods here and I thought I would just share those with y'all. So the first thing that I've been doing for the longest time would just be taking notes in church. So when I go to church, I bring my Bible and my notebook with me and I've had this notebook for a couple years now and I really love it. It has a lot of notes in it. I'm about to run out of room actually. Um, but anytime I go to like a Bible study or a church or any kind of sermon or speaker or anything like that, I will bring this notebook and just take notes from the top. This is something that I find really helps me pay attention during church because let's be real, a lot of times on Sunday mornings you're really tired and you're not fully there, fully awake yet, and taking notes will definitely help reinforce everything that you're hearing. Next I want to talk about this little book right here which a good friend of mine actually gave me and it's just called 100 Favorite Bible Verses and I love this because you can kind of like just open it, flip to a random page and think, wow, this is really great. Like, I love this verse. Like, I just flipped to Psalm 118, 24. This is something I like, especially if you're trying to memorize scripture. I find that this is helpful. So a lot of times after I read it, I'll like write it down on my hand what the verse is so I can try and reinforce that idea and like remember it throughout the days. Also, another product I wanted to show you all from the Daily Grace Company is this beautiful notebook right here. It says, Be Still. And I actually haven't used this yet because I haven't gone through this book in a while, but I still think this notebook is great and I will definitely be using it soon. So basically, it's somewhere that you can just journal different scriptures. And so on each page, it has a spread for each day and you can write down today's scripture and then you journal the word and then you do the adore section which says what does this passage teach me about God and his character and then lastly the apply section based on what I've learned about God how can I be more like him So this is a great way um, especially if you're going verse by verse with something like this you can journal out each and every verse every day and it already has the sections laid out for you which I think is so nice because 
it it just kind of guides you through the process. The next thing you can do is go through an actual devotional book and this is one that I've been going through recently from the Daily Grace Company and this one is called Grace Upon Grace. There's just grace all over the place, am I right? But this is a study on the book of James and I'm about halfway through it right now I would say and I really like this because it takes it very slow because sometimes I feel like certain devotionals like I was working on one last year and I remember it was going so fast. I feel like I would skip from one book to the next in a day and I'd be like, I cannot keep up with all of this. I mean, there's a lot of information in the Bible and so I really like this because it takes you through verse by verse. So each day it has the verses lined out that you're gonna read and sometimes it's only one verse if it's a really big one. Sometimes it's two or three and then sometimes it's like five or six. But it takes it very slowly and then the author, Kristen, she kind of comments on the verses and um, gives you other verses that she thinks would fit well in accordance with those. And then on the bottom there's always a little spot to take notes. And so I've really, really been liking this. And the Daily Grace Company has so many of these devotions and they are all very beautiful like this one and obviously this is the only one I've been through so far so I can't speak to any of the rest of them but I'm sure that all of them are great. They have so many different ones you can choose from so if you're really interested in learning about a specific book of the Bible you can probably find one on that already. The next thing I want to talk about is Bible journaling and I made a video about Bible journaling like a year or two ago and it got so much great feedback from y'all and I loved that I kind of got to introduce it to a lot of people who have never heard of it before because it's a really really awesome thing I think so if you've never heard of it basically Bible journaling is when you have a Bible and on the sides there are very large margins where you can journal and something that I like to do that has I've seen recently and that has inspired me is um, doing something artistic on the side of them so rather than just taking notes on what you're reading actually journaling out the a specific verse from the page and making it look really pretty and so I've painted some of these I've done calligraphy with them I've done like markers and colored pencils and stuff like that um, there are just so many ways you can do it so like this is the one I did most recently it was a verse about the sea and so I painted the C on there and then I wrote the verse down. So this is something that I really like to do when I'm feeling more creative and also when I have more time because this is something that I like to sit down and have actually a lot of time to sit there and finish it without being rushed to finish. Um, so sometimes if there's a certain verse that's been on my heart recently, I'll find it in here and I'll go through and journal it. And also if you were curious, this is the Crossway ESV journaling Bible and I will put a link to it down below. So that's kind of it for the Bible and devotional kind of stuff. Now I want to talk about prayer journals and this is something that I started maybe last year. I honestly can't remember. Um, I just have this little journal right here. It's the tiniest little notebook and every day I'll just kind of write down prayer requests that I have in it and that way it's a physical reminder of things I should be praying for. So you can carry these around with you in your backpack if you want. I just leave mine like on my bedside table and then at night I'll think about like who all I need to be praying for, what I need to be praying for in my life and in other people's lives. So I've just been using this dinky little notebook here, but it turns out the Daily Grace Company actually makes a prayer journal which I was so amazed to hear and also it's beautiful again so that makes it even better. So basically on each of the pages this is what the little spread looks like but there are five different sections so the first one is adoration praise God for who he is and then confession seek forgiveness and restoration and then sanctification ask him to make you more like him and then on my heart pray for the requests and burdens on your heart and then lastly the verse I am praying pray a specific verse or passage so this is just a really great way to journal and like detail out your prayers, especially for someone like me. I'm just such a visual learner and a rememberer. And so having something in my mind versus having it on paper just truly makes such a difference. And I really, again, like how these sections are laid out because you know, okay, this is what I need to be thanking God for. This is what I need to be confessing. This is what I need to be praying about for myself and for other people. Lastly, this is kind of a separate topic from actually reading the Bible, but reading Christian literature is also another great thing I think you can do. And I kind of got into this like this past summer, maybe I read a couple different um, books by Christian authors and really enjoyed some of them. So, so this is one I wanted to tell you all about because I really liked it. It's called Graceful, Letting Go of Your Try Hard Life and it's by Emily Freeman. And basically in each of these chapters she kind of talks about how people who maybe seem perfect on the outside or are perfectionists or 
are tryhards all the time, never seem to get in trouble, that kind of stuff, how they still struggle with so many things. And she kind of walks through her own life story, and in each chapter she tells about a different experience and how maybe no one else saw that she was struggling, but that she was really struggling on the inside. And so I really liked this because sometimes, you know, you might feel like, oh, that person does not struggle with any sin at all, like they are just perfect, but that is not true at all and we all struggle with stuff whether it be inside or outside and I just really related a lot to this book so if y'all think you'd like it there will be a link down below. I also read a lot of C.S. Lewis over the summer mostly because I studied abroad and that was the class I was taking but a, another book that I bought by him just because I wanted to is called Surprised by Joy and I'm gonna be honest I haven't gotten to the good part of this book yet because it's been a while since I read it. I started reading it over the summer and haven't been able to pick it back up yet but I've heard that this one is amazing. It kind of like talks about his own life story and how he comes about believing in Christianity. Another great book by C.S. Lewis is Mere Christianity and that is where he basically outlines how he was convinced of Christianity because C.S. Lewis, if you did not know, grew up as a Christian and then he became atheist over time and then later on in his adulthood he was converted back to Christianity by some of his close friends and so that book Mere Christianity is really neat because it literally like explains in a somewhat logical way how he came to believe that Christ is real and I really enjoyed reading that so I would definitely recommend that book but I just wanted to also tell y'all about these two. Also another Christian author that I would highly recommend is Bob Goff and he has a really well-known book called Love Does and he actually came and spoke at Belmont a couple weeks ago and I got to hear him and he was such an amazing speaker. I really really enjoyed that um, and I don't have his book here with me unfortunately but that book is really great. I mean it'll just make you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and it's a great book. Alright, so I have been talking forever about all these different books and ways to read the Bible, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that maybe just one of you out there found this helpful in some way and maybe inspired you to start reading the Bible. Because I know it's something that's so scary. I mean, this is a big book, you know. The font is very, very small. There are a lot of words in here and it can be scary just thinking, how am I going to start reading the Bible? Because it's huge. There's so much to learn in there, but there are ways that you can tackle that fear and you can take it step by step and eventually get into the habit of reading it every day. If y'all have any questions about anything, feel free to comment those down below. I would love to respond to you and get back to you on that. And that is it for today's video. I love y'all so much and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!